This video reveals how I grew my list by 156,486 subscribers in 2023. Specifically, you're going to learn the traffic, you're going to learn the funnel structures that I've used, and most importantly, you're going to learn what I'm doing different in 2024 as I continue to grow and evolve my business online. So first, let's talk about traffic. Now, we have to divide up the traffic sources into two main categories. First, there's the organic traffic from content marketing, and then there's the paid traffic from actually running paid advertising into sales funnels. And when I split this apart, 54,000 plus subscribers came from the organic side of things and 102,201 subscribers to date have come from the paid ad side. So let's start with the organic content marketing. Now, we started a blog together, my wife and I in 2009. That's brand number one. And brand number two is what you're watching right here and now, the Miles Becker YouTube channel. So on the blog, we offer pop-ups that give people the ability to sign up to our email list in exchange for something free of value. And really, we didn't publish that many new blog posts in 2023. So all of those leads that came in through our blogs are actually based on the efforts that we put in driving traffic, growing our search engine optimization authority, and really building up those authority sites over the last 10 years. We're getting residual rewards for all of that effort back in the day. Plus, not to mention, I've got a lot of YouTube videos. Obviously, people are still finding my YouTube videos from 2016, 2017, 2018 and many of them have embedded calls to action where I just verbally speak out like, hey, if you want to go get that free thing, go over to, you know, milesbecker.com slash free and you can get the free affiliate crash course, et cetera, et cetera. So all of our past efforts are still delivering tens of thousands of leads into our business each and every year. But the biggest growth is absolutely coming from paid advertising. And in the world of paid advertising within our business, number one source for paid ad traffic by far is Facebook ads still to this very day. It's actually over 90%. Now, in addition to Facebook ads, we have been running some YouTube ads. I have not dialed in the YouTube ads game yet, but doesn't mean I'm going to not keep trying. I'm just having much better luck with both brands, right, in the marketing space and in the niche metaphysical space. Um, both brands are still doing better at this point in time with Facebook ads traffic. I also, it's worth noting, I tried to do some solo ads. Uh, my ad guy and I have put together some fresh funnels. We ran thousands and thousands of dollars through solo ads. That is just terrible traffic. It stinks. I don't buy into any of the guru BS about solo ads or the fast track. They're not. It sucks. It's it's way worse traffic than YouTube and worse traffic than uh, Facebook as well. So that was a really good experiment that I ran. It cost me some money. It cost me a bunch of time. But now I know moving forward, Facebook ads is still the giant traffic source in the room for both of my main brands. So that's where I'm going to stay focused. And YouTube is still that nut that haven't fully cracked it yet, but I'm confident once I do, it's just going to scale our list building from that point on. So the daily numbers, which are kind of fun to look. So on average, we got 148 leads each and every day from our organic content. And we also got an additional 280 leads per day from the paid advertising, bring that together for what, about 420-ish, uh, 424 different leads each and every day into the list. So I want you to ask yourself, how would your business be? How would your cash flow be? How would your lifestyle be if your list was growing by, you know, hundreds of new subscribers each and every day? Because this is why and how my wife and I are able to, you know, we email three times a week. I do one video a week. We put together a couple of offers per year and we're able to make over a million dollars online. Um, it's the best lifestyle business that I've ever found. Now, if you're like, Miles, this is great. I want to do the paid ad things. I want to grow my list, but man, I'm not an expert. Can I do it? Possibly, but my wife and I both felt that same thing, right? When we got going, we really didn't feel like complete experts, even though I had grown a brand online to a million dollars before I started teaching how to make money online through YouTube, right? I wasn't like new documenting the process. I had been making money online since 2003, made my first video in 2016 with 13 years of experience. And even with all of that experience, I still did not feel confident in just publishing an offer and running ads straight to the offer. So what did I do? I paid my dues and I taught everything that I know freely through content. And I chose to use videos here on YouTube. My wife wrote everything for free, totaling over 1,800 blog posts in several years. And that's how she built her expertise. And as I mentioned before, we're still getting residual rewards. We're getting residual traffic and we're getting residual leads from all of that effort we did back in the day. But what we really gained from all of that effort and from paying our dues is we gained 
confidence. The confidence. I know that I can help you build your business online. How do I know? Because I've helped hundreds of thousands of people grow their businesses online through my free YouTube channels. And that confidence has really got me uh, excited to do more and more and more in the paid ads realm and the paid offers realm, which is just growing my business faster and giving me more free time to do what I want in life, which is just awesome. Next, what are the funnel structures? Two main funnels that we have been running traffic to with this structure. Number one is an advertisement to an opt-in page. And when they opt in, they see a one-time offer. This is the simplest minimum viable funnel that I recommend that you go. And all you're really doing here is you're hijacking the thank you page. Instead of saying, great, your information's received, now go confirm your email. What we do is we say, hey, your free thing's on its way. It'll be in your inbox in about five minutes, but right now learn about this next thing that's actually gonna help you solve your biggest problem. And we have a sales letter written out there. Um, this structure of add to opt-in to one-time offer is still absolutely crushing it for my wife's brand. And that's why it's the number one place we focus with her brand. And with that said, on the Miles Beckler brand in the Make Money Online niche, it costs me too much money to get a lead and I don't have the conversion rate on the back end of that. So I am using a different funnel. In this brand, I'm using a funnel where I go from an ad directly to a sales letter. And then after the sales letter, they see a one click upsell from there. So I'm going direct to sale. So on the Miles Becker brand, I'm more focused on building a customer list. Whereas on my wife's brand, we're more focused on building a big leads list. So these two systems are both working. And it's important for you to understand that, you know, I looked at what we did for Wifey's brand of the opt-in page first, and then the one-time offer, and then the bump and the one-click upsell. And I thought, perfect, it works wonderfully for her. I need to do that for my brand. So that was a starting point for my brand. And the numbers just didn't work. And I didn't sit there and think, oh, these Facebook ads don't work. I'm like, no, 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 no. I just haven't found the right series of offers that gets enough people to say yes to pay for my ad spend. So I kept working on it, kept working on it. And ultimately, we're using low ticket offers on both of these brands. So I am, I'm a low ticket bro for sure. Like I think low ticket is the way to go. Most of my offers are between $5 and $19 and they're selling like hotcakes. I'm generating thousands and thousands of new customers into my business. And what you know, once you start generating customers is you have a lifetime customer value. Yes, there's the average order value from that first sale. But once you make a sale, the odds of somebody purchasing from you again and again and again, as long as you deliver great uh, products, right? You deliver on the promise of your sales letter very well. Um, the odds of them buying from you again in the future goes way, way, way up. And this is why for my wife's brand, you know, we have a uh, average order values for different cohorts between $90 all the way up to $200 plus. So when somebody buys a $7 product or a $17 product, we know that over time, they're probably going to spend between 80 and uh, 200 with that brand. So I can keep that kind of easy math in the calculation. Now with the Miles Beckler brand, when I'm generating new customers right now, I don't know what my lifetime value is because I don't have all of those backend offers built out yet, but I know that I'll get there over time. And I know that that lifetime value will be higher than what it is on that low ticket product. And this concept of running low ticket products, this is something I learned through an e-class. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And it's where I learned how to build out these really quick to create low price, low ticket products that I've been able to sell. And it, the system is just working wonderfully for me. So I bought this course. I'm an affiliate for the course. The link's down in the description below. If you're interested in learning how to create, quickly create low ticket products that you can sell, I, I can't recommend it enough. It's been an absolute game changer for me. And it's how I've driven thousands and thousands of new customers into my business. So let's talk about the number of customers that we're bringing into our business. Cause those are the two funnels, right? Opt in first, then we show an offer or add straight to offer. That's it. Very, very, very simple stuff. Everyone can do these kinds of things. And I think most people are getting themselves way caught up in these advanced funnel hacks and they follow all the funnel gurus and all of a sudden they got to do all these fucking crazy funnel things. Sorry for that bomb, but like you can just let it be simple. Have a great product, write great sales copy for it and use great ads to promote your great product. Like that's as simple as it can be. And when you get that dialed in, you can start to scale it, which is just the most fun thing in business. So using paid traffic, um, we generated 3,771 customers in the last year, which is about 10 sales per day on average day after day. When I zoom out and I look at our shopping cart for all customer transactions over the year, and I subtract out that 3731, we had over 8,473 additional 
customers. So it was total about 12,000 sales that we had in this year. And that's about 23 per day. And this is a really key point. I want you to understand this. You got to hear me on this one. So using paid ads, I generated about 3,700 sales. Now, this isn't where Miles pays mortgages. This isn't where Miles gets the money to go buy new Jeeps and to go buy his camper vans and all of those things. This is simply generating enough revenue from the customers to pay for the ad spend. So where does Miles and Melanie get all of their income that they use to live the life of their dreams? It's through sending more offers over time via email. And we then turned around to those people who bought 3,700 or the 3,700 people who bought from us. We sold an additional 8,400 units of products of our own products, not to mention the thousands and thousands of products that we sold as affiliate marketers as well. And this is kind of that back end profit generator that you need to keep in mind when you're using whether it's organic content to grow your list or whether it's paid ads to grow your list, that front end is just the starting point of that profitable relationship that you have with that customer. The long-term profits, the lifetime value, all of that comes from you becoming a better email marketer over time for you continuing to create and find great offers that they want and promoting them in a way that helps them see that that's the thing that they want to help them get their goals and then they go buy it and that's when you make all of your money, right? The pros focus on the back end. What happens after that first transaction is where we focus almost all of our efforts because that's where all of our lifestyle income comes from. We build automated systems on the front end to generate leads and to generate traffic and to generate customers, but then we're really focused and geeking out on creating new offers and new products for those people, and that's where we make all of our lifestyle income from that point on. So that really kind of clears up how many leads, how many customers we're getting, where the traffic's coming from, what kind of funnels we're sending them through. Now, what am I doing differently in 2024? Honestly, it's more focus on low ticket front end products. I think that people are tired of the ultra high ticket guru BS. I think that most people are feeling the squeeze from inflation. I think most people are excited to, in my world, grow their business online. In my wife's world, they're excited to um, wash away the stresses of their day through kind of meditation practices, et cetera, et cetera. And I know that as a uh, producer of content and as a producer, producer of products that when I create a very high value product that has a low ticket offer price on it, people are just going to be more willing to say yes. And once I get them to say yes once, the odds of them saying yes again and again and again go up. So in 2024, I'm going to be focusing on growing my customer list instead of just focusing on growing a leads list. Now, in the beginning of 2023, I took a small group of people together through the Sales Funnel Masterclass course. It was an eight-week course where I taught them what I was gonna do in order to grow my email list by 100,000 subscribers. Now, I did it, and it worked, and it still works, but what I'm really optimizing for next is customers. So I wanna go from 3,700 new customers. I wanna double that. I wanna see about 7,500 new customers coming into my business in the next year year from those paid ads. And that's how I know that I'm getting customers onto my list because customers tend to buy more than prospects do, right? Now, this is a very, very simple approach to growing your business online, but I do have some trainings and I've got a new product that I'm releasing in the new year that's called Office Hours. And what the Office Hours are is it's your opportunity to get on a live Zoom call with me every two weeks. So if you want to optimize your opt-in offer, optimize your lead magnet. If you want help coming up with a new hook for your sales letter that's not converting good enough, if you want my help reviewing your ads and your landing pages and your sales funnels to help you grow your business in this same way, that is the new product that I am creating and offering here in the new year. You can go learn about it at milesbeckler.com forward slash office dash hours. And if you go on my top navigation on my site, it'll be right there on the top navigation. Of course, the link to the office hours will be in the description below. You get all of my templates, you get all of my past trainings, and you're going to get ongoing help from me to make sure you have the guidance and that kind of like 20 plus years of money-making experience that I bring to the table. We're going to be able to apply that and focus that into your niche, into your brand to help you get clarity, to help you know exactly what action steps to take in the next two weeks. And then once you go create it, you're going to bring it back for the next office hours. So for example, if we identify a new lead magnet, an opt-in page offer that you should make, 
We'll identify that. We'll talk about it in the office hours and then you'll go build that out. And then on the next office hours call, you can submit what you built for my feedback. You can bring the data to the table when you try sending that out. You can bring the emails that you're sending that are working that aren't working to the table and we can review them. We can help you optimize them. And so I'm going to just make myself available twice a month or every two weeks. So some months there will be three of them in a month. That's just how the calendar works. Um, but every two weeks I'll be showing up uh, every Tuesday. It'll be at 9.30 a.m. Pacific every other Tuesday. It starts on January 2nd and then we're just going to Every other from there, if you're interested in getting my help growing your list and your business and your customer list online, definitely join me in this office hours. It's going to be a fun adventure where I get to really get hands on with you and a few other ambitious, motivated folks who are actually building their businesses online. I want to work with you. And this is our way to get to work together. And if this has been helpful for you, leave me a comment. I want to know if you're one of those one percenters who makes it to the end, leave a 1% comment in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate the engagement for the algorithm. I appreciate your time. And I hope this has helped you get clarity on what you need to do in 2024 to make 2024 your best year yet. You can do do it. I appreciate you and I look forward to catching you on the next video. Till then, be well.